What's up guys, Express here and I'm back with another tutorial. Now in this tutorial I have something completely different than my usual tutorials. I have a text effect for the, for the movie Thor Love and Thunder. I thought this was a really great idea and you guys can spice up your banners with this text effect and maybe make your own Thor um, header or something like that. But I thought this was a nice uh, idea for the tutorial and I hope you guys enjoy something like this. So without further ado, let's just jump straight in. Now, what we have here is a Thor, uh, is the Thor text. Um, I have a great font for this, but we have to edit the font a bit because the font isn't that, that perfect, you know. You can see there's a couple of layers. Let's take your text tool uh, with white, of course, and you can you have do your background however you want, of course. The size file is a 1080, but you can use uh, whatever you want. So we're just gonna type in Thor, but you can type, of course, whatever you want. And I have the font God of Thunder. And of course, this font will also be in the link in the description. It's free to use. And you know, it's not perfect. You know, this little T is, uh, is a bit weird in my opinion. So we're gonna change that because if you look at my original one, I changed it. And so we're gonna do the same thing, of course, and change that T. So what you wanna do is go for uh, of course duplicate your layer with the ctrl j you can see in the left corner as well what my shortcuts are and what i'm pressing in and if i go too fast in this tutorial you can always um, pause the video or go back and rewatch it so duplicate the layer with the ctrl j right click the layer and rasterize type and now it's a normal layer and you can see that the h of thor is a bit bigger so we're going to fix that as well we're going to keep the color on white and we're going to take our uh, polygon lasso tool okay we're gonna click right there with our polygon lasso tool okay and then we're gonna hold in shift and go all the way over there holding in shift makes it go straight and then you have now it's a bit now it's a bit more you know even as well you, you see this R we're gonna copy that so we're just gonna select it with the polygon lasso tool we're gonna right click and layer via copy we're gonna do copy because then we have a copy of our uh, little selected area we're gonna do ctrl T and we're gonna flip horizontally there you go, and now we have the little end of the R. We're gonna shove that all the way over to the T, and we're going to place that right about here. Okay, and then make sure they're just at the same height. So what you wanna do is, you know, get your uh, pen tool, you click left here, and then you wanna click right about here, and make a little arc, like so. And then you wanna just delete make a selection and delete the rest like so and then you have then it looks way better and normal and you know it doesn't look like a weird T in my opinion and then you have something like that I think that looks 10 times better than before then you want to merge those two layers of course and then you have a normal text now you can see um, before and after that was before and this is how it is after okay now what you want to do of course is get that gradient that you know that for gradient um, what I did with that is and it's a great little tip for other designers out there uh, i'm going to show you how i how i do it so on my you can put like the tour uh, logo to the right of your screen like so okay you have it there then what you want to do is double click the Thor text go to gradient overlay and i already have it but what you do is you select the first one you go over to your photoshop of course and Hold in left click and drag all the way over to Thor. And then it automatically picks up the color of what you have on the other screen. And if you have two screens, this is really easy and handy in my opinion. You can just uh, drag over your color picker and you can drag it all the way over to another screen and pick that color up, up from another screen. And then you do that for the uh, all uh, three colors and then you, then you have automatically the same colors. So you wanna press OK, there you have it. Um, there you have your um, Thor uh, gradient. So we have that gradient and that is what we want and now we're going to do the 3D effect. Now what you want to do is just Ctrl J and duplicate your Thor text. You want to remove the layer style, just clear layer style. What you want to do with duplicate, you want to hit Ctrl T and make it a bit smaller like so. And then you want to move that layer down with the arrow keys, something like so now what we're gonna do is make a new new layer. So what you wanna do is take your polygon lasso tool again, and what you wanna do is fill all those little spaces in. So you see this is disconnected, and you wanna just connect that like so, and fill this little space in like so, and then fill of course the um, selected area with an alt backspace like so. And you wanna actually do that for all all the things that you for all the little spaces that needs to be filled in, and you know then it looks more 3D-ish, you know, that's, no, that's, that's it.
there you go. Well, now we have everything filled in and all the spaces have been filled in and now it looks uh, like a 3D text. And that's what we want. Now, if you remove this, you can f see what I filled in and what I didn't. So what you wanna do is, um, of course, the things that you just filled in on that layer, you wanna merge that with the back layer. So they're connected. It has a little stroke around the text. We're gonna do that as well. Gradient text that we made, you wanna duplicate that with a Ctrl J. Double click on that. You wanna remove the gradient and remove the fill opacity. And then you want to put a stroke on there with a nice little gold tint or like a yellow tint, something like that. And you want to make the size of the stroke around a four, something like that. Maybe you want to make the stroke a bit smaller, maybe a two. Yeah, something like that. Or maybe a one, maybe a one fits better. Yeah, I think a one fits better. Duplicate that again. Okay, we we'll edit the first one and change the first one to a more red color, something like that. The yellow stroke, you want to right click that and rasterize layer style. And then it's a normal one. And then take a brush and like erase the bottom part of the text, like so. Just erase that with a hardness of a zero and like a size of a 500 or something like that. And then, of course, we're going to do the gradient of the like 3D effect. So what you want to do there, of course, you want to have your uh, 3D effect that you made. You want to double click on that. And you want to go to gradient overlay. We're going to do the same thing that we did with the other gradient. Then the second color is a bit of, is a red. Then the other color is also like a darker color, something like that. Okay, I think that can work. Okay, now that is it. Now what you want to do is right click rasterize layer style. You want to make a new layer and put a clipping mask on top of that. And now what we're gonna do is you have like those little red areas on the side text. I wanna have a bright red color. Take your brush and color in those little sides. Like so, you wanna color in this side and this as well. Then you wanna color in this as well, and that. And then you wanna color in this little side as well. And then this side as well. You know, you know the gist. And then this as well. Okay. Then I'm gonna color in this as well. There you go. Then I'm gonna color in this as well. And this, and then of course you have this. Okay, okay. And that's the basics. Then you wanna do another clipping mask, but below uh, your first clipping mask, and then you wanna take a darker color something like this and then you can see the bottom of the text is a dark color so you want to just you know color that in because it's a it's a oh it's a darker color like so okay then you want to do a new clipping mask you know above what you just made and you know you want to take a brighter color but not too bright and you want to have like a little some couple of dots here like so and you want to put one there as well. Okay. Okay, that's it. Then you want to, of course, do another clipping mask above that. And you want to also take a dark color again. Dark, like, red color. Then you want to go to your polygon lasso tool. And you want to make, like, a little 3D effect thing. And then you want to just select this area. And you just want to color this in with a black, like so. And then you can see the depth and everything. So you want to do that here as well. You know, a little bit of depth here as well, okay. And then, of course, the other area as well. So select this, select that. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna take it in a bit darker color, like so. And then you can see uh, there's a bit of depth in there. Yeah. And then I'm going to take my polygon lasso tool again and do the same thing over here. Select that little area, take your dark color, and just color that in, and then it has this little depth uh, looking thing. Yeah. And I'm also going to uh, add a little bit of like a dark stroke right here. Okay. Maybe like this big, and then put another one on top of that with a bit of smaller. Okay, I think that fits. I think that fits. Okay, I'm also going to add like a little dark stroke here. Like so. Okay. I'm then gonna add one here as well. Okay, and that is the back of the text. The stroke that you make, those, this yellow stroke, go back to there. And what we're gonna do is make an 
put an outer glow on top of that with a yellow, of course. So we can do that. Okay, and then of course we have a little star on the left. We can also add that. So what you want to do is make a new layer above everything. Take a brush, take a bright yellow color, something like that. And hit a little dab with it. Hit Ctrl T, make it smaller by holding in Shift. Ctrl T to turn that around. Duplicate that, hit Ctrl T again, turn that around again. Make your brush a bit smaller, make a new layer, and hit a small little dab in the middle of that. There you go, I have a little star. I'm gonna put that on the left of the T. Okay, and now we have the grain effect. So how you look up the, that grain effect is just type in grain texture, of course. And then you have a lot of nice grain textures on Google that you can use for free, of course. And I've picked out this one. I'm just right click and copy image, then back in Photoshop and then Ctrl V. Then you have this massive image of this uh, grain effect. I'm just going to put that right there. And now what I'm going to do is go over to my text, holding Ctrl. And then you have the outline of your text, but that's not the right outline. This is the right outline. And then what you want to do is go to your um, this uh, marquee tool, right click, select inverse press delete and then it deletes the outside of your um, grain textures and I just want to put that on a, on a soft light and I'm going to lower the opacity a bit and then you can also have like old uh, grain textures some other ones if you want to put that on top of it of course okay make a new layer then go to your brush and take like a um, like a nice uh, yellow orangey color and then make a stroke right there put a dab right there put a dab right there and go over to um, soft light and lower the opacity a bit and then you have this little um, glowing orange look you can also do that with a new make a new layer you can also do that with a white color take a white and you can also like have a couple of dabs uh, randomly on your text put that on a um, soft uh, put that on overlay lower the opacity and it has like a little nice look to it that i really like okay and that is really it i think it really can spice up your designs and it's a really great design as well what i did as well in my other one i did like a with the brush um i did with my brush like a little dark um area on top of it as well like so like so um i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial something else is not bad that it's not you know a header or something it's a text style effect and i really like making those um if you guys want of course uh, my um, typography and my textiles video again like part two let me down in the comments and if you want more um, textiles from like movies of like um, movies series or whatever you want me to make a tutorial of let me know in the comments down below also join my discord we're almost on a thousand members and we also add almost uh, 5,000 subscribers um, thank you guys for that and stay tuned for the 5,000 subscriber special see you guys in the next one peace